You're listening to Civic Media. Stay up to date on the latest news and information for your local community and Wisconsin by signing up for our free email newsletter. Visit civicmedia.us slash email to get started. This is your WISS Daily News Roundup for Oshkosh Air Support, 98.3 FM and 1100 AM. Civic Media News. I'm Terry Bell. Here's what Wisconsin needs to know. Donald Trump exaggerating links between violent crime and immigration in Wisconsin over the weekend. In Prairie du Chien, Trump predicted a bleak future if Kamala Harris wins. Your town and every town, just like it all across Wisconsin and all across our country, the heartland, the coast, it doesn't matter, will be transformed into a third world hellhole. But the numbers show immigrants are much less likely to commit violent crimes than American-born citizens. Trump campaigns in Wanakee and Milwaukee tomorrow. Trump and Vice President Kamala Harris are neck and neck in Wisconsin in the latest poll. The New York Times and Siena College say Harris leads here 49% to 47%. Wisconsin has been decided by less than a point in four of the last six campaigns. 25 Red Cross volunteers from Wisconsin are part of the Hurricane Helene relief effort in the southeastern United States. Their assignments could change at any time. In fact, Red Cross volunteers have to be on standby in case they're needed more somewhere else in the country. Pro-democracy groups are keeping up the pressure on the mayor of Wausau. Doug Dinney removed a ballot drop box out of public reach last week. Critics call the move voter suppression. Sam Leibert is with the group All Voting is Local. This is just another part of a larger puzzle of continued voter suppression and, and trying to have fewer people vote in the upcoming November election. There was a similar controversy in Beaver Dam, where the Dodge County Sheriff urged local clerks not to use drop boxes. Home prices keep going up in Wisconsin 8%, according to the latest report from the Wisconsin Realtors Association. The median price of a Wisconsin home is now $324,000. Authorities say one student is behind a series of threats made to western Wisconsin schools last week. The threats forced Chippewa Falls, Eau Claire, Altoona, Augusta, and Elk Mountain schools to close. The Justice Department says it will press charges. I'm Terry Bell, Civic Media News. Now, here's what you need to know closer to home. For WISS News, I'm Lisa Hale. The candidates for the 8th Congressional District race, Democrat Kristen Lyerly and Republican Tony Weed, debated the issues Friday night at the Mothy Center in Green Bay. The candidates addressed topics from health care to abortion and from affordable housing to the economy. Tony Weed. You know, we're at a point right now with President Trump's tax cuts, they were effective. It helped stimulate the economy during his administration. And I believe we need to extend those tax cuts in order to keep more money in everybody's pocket. From the economy to Social Security, Kristen Lyerly. Seniors are worried that things are gonna change, that they're gonna lose their benefits, that the age of retirement is gonna rise. But how do we fix that problem? It's tricky. I think the wealthy are gonna have to pitch in a little bit more here. Read more about the debate at our website, WISS.FM. The general election is just over a month away, and on the ballot in November, voters of Wisconsin will have a statewide referendum question. As we break it down, the referendum would amend the state constitution to say, instead of every United States citizen may vote, to only United States citizens may vote. An interesting amendment because it's not clear if it actually functionally changes anything. Civic Media has a Wisconsin Legislative Voter Guide along with information that you're looking for, candidates running to represent you, and the new legislative maps. Visit civicmedia.us slash voter guide. And to learn what's specifically on your ballot, where your polling place is, and how to request an absentee ballot, visit myvote.wi.gov. Gas prices are up this week. According to Gas Buddy, average gas prices in Green Bay are up 4.5 cents per gallon, averaging $3.13. In Appleton, the price is up 10 cents a gallon to $3.09. In Oshkosh, many gas stations are advertising gas at $3.19 per gallon, up 20 cents from last week. Patrick DeHaan with Gas Buddy blames refinery fall maintenance for the increases. Manitowoc County Health Department is offering two free flu walk-in clinics for children in October. The clinics will provide flu vaccine to any child six months 
through 18 years old with or without insurance. Children under 18 must be accompanied by a parent or a guardian. The clinics will be Saturday, October 12th at the Manitowoc Public Library from 10 until noon and Tuesday, October 22nd at the Valder Community Center from 4 until 6. Families that can't attend either of these clinics are encouraged to visit their health care provider or a local pharmacy to receive their vaccines. And that's what you need to know. I'm Lisa Hale, WISS News. The Packers fall to 2-2. Two and two. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kuska with sports, filling in for Mike Clemens. Minnesota led Green Bay 28-0 at the half, but the Packers were able to move the ball and put up points in the second half before falling short against the Vikings 31-29. Quarterback Jordan Love said they didn't do enough to win. We just didn't make plays. I think uh, did not play well enough, personally me. And, you know, accuracy was a little bit off, uh, a little bit shaky, and uh, was definitely making it hard on some of the guys, which uh, just led to us you know, getting off the field early and... Uh, not being able to put up points. Coach Matt LaFleur said the team started slow but finished strong. They played a lot of soft zone, a lot of soft coverage, and unfortunately we just didn't get enough completions. But I did think he looked, as the game went, it seemed to me that he looked more and more comfortable. We made more explosive plays, which is tough to do when a team's sitting back in two shell. Green Bay heads to L.A. to play the Rams on Sunday. The Milwaukee Brewers are off today as they await their postseason opponent. The Mets and Braves play a doubleheader today to determine postseason seating. A sweep by either team means the Brewers get Arizona. A split means Milwaukee faces the Mets tomorrow. First pitch is just after 4.30 in Milwaukee tomorrow. And after dropping two games, the 2-2 two and two Badgers host Purdue on Saturday with an 11 a.m. kickoff. Badgers hockey hits the ice this week as well, hosting Lindenwood Friday and Saturday. Filling in for Mike Clemens, I'm Jimmy Cuska with Civic Media Sports. On your entertainment beat, I'm Pete Schwaba. Wisconsin native Mark Ruffalo took home a Best Documentary Emmy for his film Lakota Nation versus the United States. It all went down at the 45th Annual News and Documentary Emmy Awards last Thursday in New York City. The documentary details the seizure in 1876 of Black Hills and chronicles the Lakota tribe's fight to reclaim the land. Freddie Prinze Jr. has signed on for another installment of I Know What You Did Last Summer. This will be the fourth film in the franchise. Jennifer Love Hewitt is in talks but has not signed on to the project yet. This will be the third film of the franchise for Prinz. Another installment of the franchise had different actors and went right to video in 2006. Producers say they are hoping to have the film in theaters in the summer of 2025. If the original cast gets much older, the next installment can be called I Totally Forgot What Happened That One Summer. Lately, it seems like mega millionaires with mansions cannot catch a break. First Ben Affleck and Jennifer Lopez had a buyer lined up for their $68 million Beverly Hills home only to find out the offer had been pulled. Now it's been announced that David and Victoria Beckham will have to endure construction noises due to a year-long renovation of the mansion next door. One option for the couple could be to spend time at their Miami penthouse, but Florida can be so muggy. Stay tuned for the latest on this breaking story and hang in there, Mr. and Mrs. Spice Girl. Joel and Ellie will be back soon, according to HBO. Variety reports that the network released a preview for season two of The Last of Us, starring Pedro Pascal and Bella Ramsey. The acting duo plays survivors in the post-apocalyptic zombie derivation of the video game. Season two will start after a five-year time jump in the story. Season one of the show took home eight Emmys and had 24 nominations. The trailer for season two can be viewed on YouTube or wherever you get your movie trailers. The premiere of Yellowstone should have more eyes on it than usual. In addition to its debut on the Paramount Network, it will replay two hours later on CBS. This will be the first new episode of the show in almost two years. This will be the show's season five part two premiere and will not include Kevin Costner, who is off making a remarkably similar 12-hour movie saga. The show premieres November 10th. Well, it was only a matter of time, but there is finally a movie in the works about, you guessed it, Pickleball. The pseudo sport that is sweeping the nation will be well represented on the big screen thanks to Ben Stiller, who will direct the film set in the world of the fast rising sport, and he'll also play a supporting role. The film will star Jake Johnson as a washed up tennis pro, and it wouldn't be a pickleball movie without a couple of old people who will be represented by Ed Harris and Mary Steenburgen. The hips, they'll be a breaking. For more showbiz fun, tune in to Nightlight with me, Peach Waba, weeknights from 6 to 8 p.m. on the Civic Media Radio Network. Mostly sunny today. We'll get into the low 80s for a high this afternoon. So one more warm day. We have a cold front that's going to come through tonight. Little breezy overnight, low in the upper 40s. Tomorrow, mostly sunny with a high tomorrow, only in the low to mid 60s. I'm meteorologist Sean Cable. Currently, it is 60. That's your WISS Daily News Roundup from Civic Media. Subscribe to this podcast on Spotify, Apple, or wherever you find your podcasts. Find more news at WISS.FM. 
The national news cycle never stops, but it can be hard to find news about your local community. Civic Media is dedicated to providing quality local and state news coverage across Wisconsin. With the Civic Media app, you can get notifications about local stories that matter to you and your community. Find the free Civic Media app in your phone's app store and choose notifications from the menu to tell us what kind of news you want to hear about. 